Hey guys, Brendan Productions here, and welcome to Making Snake in Java Part 11. Now, in the previous Java tutorial, we actually pretty much finalized our snake game. Uh, what we did is we uh, finished up everything, the main menu's working, end game's working, the whole game is working. However, it was actually brought to my attention by a commenter that I actually deleted a line uh, in one of the one of the sections of code that caused the snake game to not actually reset when you crash into yourself. So let's go ahead and check that out now. Uh, if we actually go ahead and crash into ourselves, you can see that nothing happens and we just kind of eat ourselves up. <laughs> Which is definitely a problem. So, in this tutorial I'm going to be addressing that problem and the various issues faced once we address the problem. So let's go ahead and get started. So, the line that I deleted is actually right here in the move method. Um, as you can see, we check to see if we go out of bounds. If we do, we reset the game. We check to see if we go out of bounds. If we do, we reset the game. And then we check to see if we ran into ourselves. And if we do, we reset the game. Now, the basic reset the game procedure involves checking the score, setting one the one variable, setting the is at end game equal true, and then returning. Now, as you can see in the when we ran into ourselves section, I actually cut out is at end game equals true accidentally uh, in the previous tutorial. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and add it back in. Um, now, so that probably means that anybody watching the previous tutorial that didn't cut this out is also experiencing the error that has to follow. So upon actually adding this back in on my own and then running the application, I was faced with a severe problem. Um, when you actually press enter to continue, you actually get this fine error. Um, when the game starts, uh, you automatically lose. Now it took me a while to actually figure out why this was happening, but let's go over it right now. So obviously since we're losing and the only place where it actually tells you you can lose is in the move method, let's go ahead and analyze what's going on. So the first thing we do is we actually set um, a head variable equal to the first snake point. And then we go ahead and set the new point equal to head. Now, depending on which way you're traveling, north, south, west, or east, we set the point to the to the um, new location, depending on what direction you're traveling. Now, if we're not traveling in uh, no direction, then we actually remove the uh, the tail end, and then we go ahead and check to see if this new point actually lands on anything. Now, the only problem with this is when we're actually not traveling, when our direction is no direction. Well, our new point variable is not actually going to change, so our new point is going to be equal to our head. And that actually corresponds down here, because in order to actually check to see if we're running into ourselves, we see if the snake dot contains the new point. Now, since we're traveling in no direction, um, the new point variable is equal to the head variable, which in turn means that the snake linked list actually contains the head variable, which means it actually contains the new point, which means while, we're not, while we are traveling no direction, we are actually quote unquote crashing into ourselves uh, according to the program, which is definitely no good. So in order to actually address this situation, we need to come up with a fix that allows us to not crash into ourselves while we are not moving. Now, one way of going about this is making it so um, while we're actually checking to see if we run into ourselves, see if we're moving. So uh, we can go ahead and say if uh, direction is not equal to direction dot no underscore direction, then we go ahead and do all this. So essentially what this is going to do is if we if we actually run into ourselves and then we're not moving anywhere, we can go ahead and do uh, we can go ahead and not do any of that stuff. So as you can see, that solves the problem. However, for some reason, if you do that, it actually starts the snake off nice and long. Uh, which I don't know why it does that. But so in order to actually avoid doing that, what we can do is we can actually um, just analyze the entire move method. And so as we can see, when we are not going anywhere, the move method doesn't do anything. So uh, we create a new point equal to the head, and then if we're not moving anywhere, 
or if we're moving somewhere, we remove this. And then if the new point equals fruit, which it won't if we're not moving anywhere. And then if we the new point's out of bounds, which it won't if we're not moving anywhere. New point's out of bounds, which it won't if we're not moving anywhere. And then if the new point, um, if we crash into ourselves, which we won't if we're not moving anywhere. And then we check to see if the new snake size is equal to the new size, which it won't be if we're not moving anywhere. And then we go ahead and move the snake, which we won't need to if we're not moving anywhere. So essentially, the move method is useless if we're not actually moving anywhere. So what we can do is, in the beginning of the move method, is if we're not moving anywhere, we can just jump out of the move method. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say if direction is equal to direction dot no underscore direction. I was about to type out underscore. Did you see that? Um, so if the direction is equal to direction dot no direction, then we can simply return, which essentially means that we're just going to be exiting the move method. However, if the direction is anything else, then we're not going to return, and we're going to continue as usual. So let's go ahead and test this out. So if we actually run the um, applet here, and then press enter, as you can see, we immediately don't die, and that's because we are no longer crashing into ourselves, because we're actually... Um, we're not moving. So the move method is not actually running. So then if we actually start moving, and we start collecting dots, you can see that everything is working as planned. So this was just a small video to address that small problem that was actually mentioned by a commenter. So, so thank you very much. Um, sorry I don't have your username, but it's not pulled up at the moment. But thank you very much for bringing that up. So we just addressed that, and we've addressed all problems that are actually contained with not moving and still doing calculation. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, I know it was short, but sometimes you just got to keep it short and sweet, right? Yeah. So thanks for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a fantastic day. Peace.